How's it going, guys? It is 1.15 a.m. Wednesday, August 3rd here in Japan, and we have a challenging question for infectious disease for step one and step two. Nearly identical question shows up one of the step one and BME forms. So before we get started, please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Give the video a like. I really appreciate it. Find me on Instagram at melman underscore medical, M-E-H-L-M-A-N underscore medical. Link is down below. Find me on Telegram. Links to the Telegram group and channel down below now to start the clip. 46-year-old dude, four-day history of fever, recently immigrated to the USA from Nigeria. He appears lethargic, temperature 103 Fahrenheit. Thick and thin blood smears are ordered. A photomicrograph is shown. Question wants to know. He's at greatest risk for which the following complications. So you look at this blood smear here. You say, no idea what I'm fucking looking at. It's okay. I mean, what you need to know is it's very buzzy. That thick and thin blood smears are the diagnostic test for malaria. Okay. So dude comes back from Africa with some sort of hemolytic condition. Answer equals malaria. Dude comes back from Africa and he's got some sort of ring form in an RBC, which we have here is malaria. They can also show you chazants, which are more erratic appearing inclusions uh, within RBCs, but this is malaria, okay? Not difficult so far. I don't want to get fucking tangential, but a high yield point I should make is that if they get, and this is very, very important, okay? If they give you a ring form that looks identical to this and they tell you uh, the patient has not left the United States, it's going to be babesia, not malaria. That's super fucking important. Both can present with ring forms. You can also get a Maltese cross with babesia. So this is malaria, this question. Let's just whip to the answer choices. Choice A, abscess the liver, wrong answer. Of course, this refers to entamoeba histolytica. It's going to be acquired uh, via cysts in fresh water. You're going to get bloody stool. And just a liver abscess is a complication you need to be aware of. You can treat with metronidazole and iodoquinol, sometimes paramomycin. Point is, wrong fucking answer. Choice B, psoas abscess, wrong answer. This is just miliary TB, tuberculosis. Okay, you just need to be aware that this is one of the possible complications of TB. I just threw this in here as obvious distractor, wrong answer. Choice C, aplastic anemia, wrong answer. Aplastic anemia means all your cell lines are down. RBCs, WBCs, platelets, all down. And if this is due to infection, classically, parvovirus B19, increased risk of aposcanemia and sickle cell, of course. Wrong fucking answer. Choice D, cytokine-induced impairment in gluconeogenesis, is the correct answer. And this is going to cause hypoglycemia. Now look, this isn't me trying to be fancy, entertaining, or creative. Nearly identical question shows up one of the NBME exams. They give you malaria, and the answer is hypoglycemia. Okay, and then I looked it up in the literature, and in terms of what I could find, is it's conjectured that there is cytokine induced impairment of gluconeogenesis. Okay, there's also thoughts as far as uh, glucose consumption by the organism, but it's really about the cytokine induced. Uh, impairment effect. Okay, so hypoglycemia, for whatever fucking reason, can be seen in uh, Plasmodium falciparum malaria. Okay, because malarium has different species. Falciparum, falciparum is your uh, species. Uh, Plasmodium is your genus. Uh, Plasmodium is a unicellular, unicellular eukaryote. That's what malaria is. It's a unicellular parasite. Okay, it's a eukaryote. Uh, but falciparum malaria, not only can you get cerebral malaria, okay, so uh, microthromboses within the cerebral vasculature, but you can also get hypoglycemia. Last answer, neutrophilia, that means high neutrophils. Wrong answer, this could refer to leukemoid reaction, okay, so sometimes you get an infection and you can get a uh, rapid release of white blood cells from the bone marrow reserve pool, increased leukocyte alkaline phosphatase. Wrong fucking answer. You know the deal. I'm going to continue to make more content. If you like my stuff, subscribe to my channel. And I appreciate your time. That's it.